What's going on y'all? Big Matt 519 Camp Life Squad and this video here. I know it's been a while since I posted a video. It's, I've, I've been just doing streams on Wednesdays and Fridays and I figured those are just a little easier at a couple of hours each. You guys can watch the gameplay, watch, hear me talk shit to whoever I'm playing with. Talk shit with whoever I'm playing with, not talk shit to, sorry. Um, but <clears throat> today's video it's for my homie man may he rest in peace butch you know um that's my dog it's my kid's godfather i love him to death and i'm gonna miss the fuck out of him you know even though i moved to kansas city back in 2005 i always called him or he always called me we always kept in touch when i went down to new york a couple of times for my daughter's sweet 16 before i have you i try to make it a point to see him and when we found out that he had cancer, I called him a lot to see how he's going, how his treatments were going. And when he called me and told me that it spreaded and that it went down to his liver, I canceled my vacation plans. Me and my wife, we talked it over. We canceled our vacation plans and we drove down to New York to see him and, and, his, and her mother and her family. Um, but yeah, and I don't regret it one fucking bit, man. Unfortunately, he passed away this weekend, and I think I would really kick my fucking self if I went on my vacation and didn't get a chance to see my nigga, and something happened to him, and like this, like God forbid, something would happen, and it did. He he did pass away. He you know cancer took him. But um, I think that that would have really fucked me up royally if I would have rather hang out and enjoy myself instead of, you know, switching my plans and going to see him. So, no. Do I regret it? Hell fucking no. I would do it again. You know, um, I just wish I could have spent more time with him. But, you know, I did spend a couple of days with him. The first day, it was me and my wife and him. You know, and then the next time I went, I drove down um, about a day later. <coughs> Excuse me. It was just me and him hanging, you know, like we always did, you know, watched a couple of movies and just talking shit. And it was a good time. And, you know, I'm glad it's something I'm going to remember for a long time is just, you know, chilling with him. And the movies that we watched wasn't always, you know, I mean, the movies were okay. Except for the last one. The last one was the best movie. We saw um, Central Intelligence with The Rock, which was okay. And then the next movie was The Escape Plan with Sylvester Stallone and Arnold Schwarzenegger. And then the last movie we watched was My Cousin Vinny. And I love that movie. To me, it's one of the funniest fucking movies around. And apparently he loved it too because we were just cracking up throughout the whole fucking thing, man. And there were certain scenes in the movie. <laughs> I sit back and remember this. There were certain scenes in the movie, like when it would come up, he was sit he's laying down in the bed because you know he can't move around so much because he was so weak. But um, he was just laid down. He'll pull out his cell phone, call his wife, put it on speaker, and she could hear what's what we're watching, and she starts reciting the the words, you know, what they're saying word for word and laughing. And then when the scene was over, when that particular scene was over, he would hang up, we watch some more, something else come on. He would get on the phone and boom, call his sister. Let her hear it. And she started doing the same thing. And then his cousin. And it was just like a couple of times this happened. And I was and I was cracking up because they knew every fucking word of this movie. So to me, they must have been watching it over and over again. You know, as many times as it came out. And now I got to fucking go buy it on Blu-ray. So I could have it with me. So whenever I think of my nigga, I just put that movie on and laugh. You know? Now I know he's, you know, I know he's in a better place right now. But I just wish he was still here with me. I'm a selfish motherfucker. And if that makes me bad, then fuck it, you know? But uh, just, to, um, just a little quick update. Uh, this weekend, this Friday, I'm going to be flying out to New York. To attend the funeral for him and the service. 
I'm going to be there for the weekend. So I ain't going to stream. I ain't going to do no videos this weekend. I mean, you guys hang out. So next Wednesday, I'll be back at it again. I appreciate it. If you guys cannot wait, it's all good. You know what I mean? Go and sub. Do whatever you want, man. Ain't, <clears throat> I'm not going to feel any other way about it. It is what it is. I know I have some loyal subs out there that will hang around and wait a couple of days, which is not a lot. But, I mean, in all actuality, it, this is, I do this for fun. I don't do this to make money. So, I mean, you want sub, you sub. It, it doesn't hurt me. And especially the way YouTube is now with the videos and the monitoring, the monetization, you know, the, no ad revenue. Well, vloggers get it, but the videos don't. I have no idea what the hell that is all about. So, I mean, it's not like I'm making money off of this anyway. With 110 subs, what kind of fucking money could I be making? You know? But it's... That's all bullshit. It doesn't matter to me. What matters is going to New York and being with his family in this, and when they need me there. You know? Well, I need to be there. So... That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go out there. I'm going to fly out Friday morning. I'll be back Sunday. Back at work Monday, Wednesday. I'll be back streaming again. Making videos. But just so you get, you know, you guys know, life is short, man. Don't take it for granted. If you got somebody sick in your life that you know, spend time with them. Because you don't know what's going to happen, man. At a blink of an eye. I was talking to him last week. He was telling me everything was good. He was feeling better. His hips were feeling better. The radiation that they were doing helped him. They were moving on to his shoulder because he has problems with his shoulder too. And it, they were gonna, that was the next batch that they were going to do. The chemo and the radiation on his shoulder try to make him better. He told me everything was fine, man. Then Wednesday, he was in a lot of pain. They took him to the hospital. Then his, all his pain went away. Right before he passed, they told me he had no pain no more. And that is one of, I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I'm Catholic. And that is one of God's promises that I will take your pain away and you come, you come with me. When it's your time to go, you will feel no more pain. And he didn't. And I believe in that shit. You know, I'm, I'm, I may curse, I may do my shit, but I am a Catholic. I believe in God and I believe he's up there right now. So, if you have anybody out there, go see them, man. Do what you gotta do. Don't take any day for granted, because I don't no more. Alright? Well, this is Big Matt 519, Camp Live Squad. And we out this bitch. Peace.